Hello Sagittarius and welcome. We are doing your weekly reads. This is going to go from the 4th through to the 8th. You know how tarot works. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, it's not for you. Don't force it. Okay. Also guys, um, on the 8th, our sale ends and that is when the festive candles and the festive tea um, will no longer be available. Okay. So I would definitely grab these while you can. I would show you, but I'm lighting this one right now. So, cause I'm kind of using it, but yeah, these are our festive candles. They do have crystals in it and they do have um, infused with scent as well. Okay. They're really Christmassy actually. So this is my only personal use. Okay. That one, but yeah. Um, and they are available to purchase on my website. We are having coupon problems at the moment. So please bear with me. And I'm going to try getting a coupon added onto the website okay um so such terraces how are you all <laughs> i hope you've had a nice christmas i hope you have had a great new year feeling fresh um well it gets better as the months go by right <laughs> january is the kind of time when we need to uh regenerate our energy right so let's see what's going on for you guys. Sagittarius is suddenly rising in Venus from the 4th through to the 8th. What do we need to know from our Sagittarius is suddenly rising in Venus um, from the 4th through to the 8th of January 2021. Sagittarius is please. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm kind of like, which one do you want me to take? <laughs> okay. So we have breathe. The breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It's a connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your center being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe, right? So guys, I really do feel like you guys have over been, uh, been overdoing things. From the last reading, I could definitely say that you guys have been overdoing things. Um, and you guys really need to take the time out to breathe and meditate, do some yoga, anything at all that's going to ground your energy. But definitely go outside, take a breather, okay? Um, from whatever it is that you're trying to do. Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this point in time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy. We'll keep on helping you as you continue to evolve here in the spirit world, right? So you may be, I feel like spirit knows that you're about to make a mistake in regards to a decision that you need to make. And it could be a mistake that you're making. So spirit is kind of like warning you not to do that. Before you make any decision, ground yourself, take a breather, and make sure that you think things through thoroughly, okay, before you do. Spirit and angel guides, what messages do we have for Sagittarius and me rising Venus? From the 4th through to the 8th of January 2021, Sagittarius and me rising in Venus. Sagittarius is sun, moon, rising in Venus. From the 4th through to the 8th of January 2021. Yo. Okay, got Scorpio there as well. Funny, Scorpio had love begins as well. So you got transformation. So your life right now is going through a huge transformation. So any decision you make right now, it's either going to be a lesson that you need to learn from or it's going to be the decision you make. The endings that you go through is going to bring in new beginnings for the best, right? I mean, we're always evolving and always learning, right? That's just what we humans do on Earth. We're learning all the time. Um, but some are just lessons, right? And your ancestors are like, don't carry our karma. 
so you have love begins let's see where this is going <laughs> right let's see where this is going scorpios please sun moon rising and venus from the fourth through to the eighth scorpios from the fourth through to the eighth of january 2021 did i say scorpios wow sagittarius is, i'm so sorry sagittarius sun moon rising venus from the fourth through to the eighth sagittarius is sun moon rising venus from the fourth through to the eighth of january 2021 sagittarius is, please Sagittarius is please for January 2021 for through to the 8th thank you you have two I'm only going to take one I don't know why I did that um so we also have Opal let yourself sparkle and shine you are guided to be bold show the bigger than life side to the world okay so I like that one I'm going to keep it on there and then you also have control issues utilize a god-given strength of power instead of fearing what others may try to control right so that does kind of make some sense okay let's go straight in with the reading sun moon rising venus let's see what we got for my sagittarius is sagittarius is sagittarius is please no nope. okay Sagittarius is the moon rising Venus from the fourth through to the eighth. Sagittarius is the moon rising Venus from the fourth through to the eighth of January 2021. Oh my god, Scorpios did this as well. Uh, let's get the current energy, Sagittarius. <laughs> I'm surprised that was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you got temperance. That's your own energy, mate. Okay, so. Right. What is blocking this energy? Thank you. You have the Queen of Swords. Okay. The recent past. Whoa. Three of Pentacles on top of your mind, what's crowding you? The Emperor Aries energy. Why is everybody getting that card? Alright, so let's see what's carrying you through. We have the Six of Swords. I'm telling you now, Scorpio had this, just in different places. Um, the near future. Whoa, the tower came out in reverse, but I'm going to take it upright for now. Scorpionic energy. How you feel within yourself. Oh my gosh, magician Virgo energy. The person is dealing with the external environment. Okay, let's see. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. I swear you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Or someone with a Scorpio in their chart. Look, if you haven't checked that out, definitely go and check that out. You guys might have Scorpio as a moon, as a rising Venus, okay? Because this definitely resonates. Right. Fears and hopes. Nine of Cups. Overall outcome. We have the five of swords your overall energy is death scorpio right okay scorpio <sighs> right okay yeah you need a lot of patience sagittarius um i feel like you don't have your two feet in one place right now you you may be feeling like things are really chaotic right now in your life 
and no matter how much you want to be clear about things and how much you want to kind of like put things in its place you're finding it hard to do that that's what it is okay because that's your block in the recent past there has been some kind of teamwork collaboration going on in regards to something like a lot of hard work um there was support around you maybe not as much as you expected but hey they were there right now with the emperor here i feel like you are trying to make choices um for your own stability and power right but you're being a little bit stubborn in your mind about what it is and how things should be done six of swords um you move forward successfully all right you, you you move forward successfully things are things are things are going in the right direction let's just say that right things are going in the right direction when it comes to the six of sorts you might be ready to let go of you know things that have been holding you back feeling a lot free is what i'm getting from that and then the tower is talking about sudden changes that are happening right gonna that are gonna happen in your life i don't want to really go into detail at this point because i'm going to clarify you're manifesting something okay so that's you in your personal environment you're manifesting something you're working on something things that you've learned you're putting it to use the person you're dealing with is going through a karmic I mean, this could be you as well, right? So I feel like this is like now is kind of like a time that's coming up in your external environment where things are going in your favor, but this could be the other person as well. Nine of Cups, your hope is to just be emotionally satisfied. I do feel like you have a lot of kind of options when it comes to indulgence, okay? Whether that's people, whether that is you drinking as well, you know, there's just a lot of like I'm I'm happy being single. I'm happy being alone. I really do feel that you're like enjoying your own company. You're overindulging in things like we have the outcome as a five of swords. So the five of swords is is conflict, conflict, English conflict. Right, let's go in. This change is bringing a new beginning, so that's that's good. Spirit and angel guides, yes, we can do that. <laughs> we cannot do that. What are you doing? Okay. Spirit and angel guides, messages for Sagittarius, please. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Please show me clearly what Sagittarius needs to know. What's the underlying energy? Thank you. Okay. Let's see what the temperance is. Tell me about the temperance, please. Three of Cups. You might want a reunion with someone, but I do feel that this is... I feel like you still got your feet in two different places so the three of cups can also signify a third party so like three is a crowd right so there could be two people here that you're dealing with maybe you're going to need a lot of patience to decide who maybe the person that you're dealing with has a third party situation then at the queen of swords You have the five of cups and page of wands. See, the block is um, you want to tell this person straightforward, right? Look, this is what it is. But this person is walking away. They're not ready to listen to what you've got to say. They just feel like anything that you're saying is just a waste. Like 
anything that comes out of your mouth is a lie right now for them. They've changed their direction completely already. So you feel like, I have to tell this person, but they've already gone, right? They're not willing to listen. Um, let's see what this Three of Pentacles is about. So we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny because I feel like you, you moved away in the recent past from this person already. Like you moved on and away and let go of this relationship already. You were never like, I feel like I was going to say you're not, you never really was in for it. Like for this relationship, your heart was never really into the relationship. May have been something where you were just like, hey, let's just be friends and see where this goes, right? Mm, that candle smells so good. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys, got a little distracted there. I was like smelling it and I was like, mm, smell good. <laughs> okay, the emperor, let's see what the emperor is about. I will link my website down below in <laughs> For you guys, you've got to try this. You've got to have one of these. Like, it is smelling so, so good. Okay, about the Emperor. Okay, about the Emperor. Ha, ha, ha. Got the Eight of Wands. You got the Page of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. I just feel like you're moving on. And regardless of whether you're moving on slowly or not, well, you are, but you're moving on to something more stable for your own, for yourself, basically, right? You might be watching this person still, spying on this person now and then, keeping an eye on them, but you're actually moving on towards something more stable. I feel like there might be some kind of communication coming in or wanting to speak to this person, okay? Um, but you're taking action. Like, you might be travelling away from this person. You may be planning on moving out or travelling away. Something here about moving. There is something here about moving. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Because you're like, got all these movement cards. Like, there is movement. There is change going on. Yeah, see? Six of Swords starting a new beginning, right? <clears throat> Tell me about the Tower. I feel like you're listening to the guidance your ancestors are giving to you, definitely. Um, tell me about the... Um, tell me about the Ten of Swords. <laughs> tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. Yes, thank you. <laughs> right. The Tower and the Ten of Swords, it can't be any more clearer than this. That is almost like having the te Death card right there. Ten of Swords is a painful ending, yes. It's going to bring in a sudden change. There's going to be a painful ending in the near future. That's going to bring in... There's huge transformation and opening doors to something new, right? There is a huge shift going on in your transformation right now. A huge shift, right? Tell me about the magician. You got the two of pentacles. I feel like whatever you're manifesting, you're making the right choices or trying to make the right choices about like, you know, what should I be doing? Um, or what you should be manifesting. Yeah, you're definitely feeling challenged about decision decisions or making decisions about what it is that you need to manifest in your life. Okay, so those choices can cause a lot of confusion. Tell me more about the two pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This is telling me that you're independent. You're single, you're happy, right? It's like you need to listen to your higher self when it comes to making those decisions. You've got a lot of nines, a lot of completion coming in, okay? A lot of new beginnings coming in for you. You'll know what to do. That's what I'm getting from this. You'll know if you just listen to your higher self. You will know what it is that you need to manifest. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. 
Four of Wands. The person you're dealing with is ready to let go of this, this relationship. So there could be a divorce on the horizon here. There could be a separation. They could be leaving the family home and moving into a new house, okay, for you. This person could be doing that. They could be moving on and away. But I feel like this is you because I see you doing all the movement, really. Um, but, yeah. And the universe is doing it because it's bringing everything together for you, right? So you can let go of things that are really not meant to be for you. I feel I feel so strongly that right now you could be dealing with a Scorpio because they had the four of wands flying out in reverse, but I took it upright. Um, I would definitely go and check that out. It could have been you, I mean, but of course it was a Scorpio's reading. That's why I had to say Scorpio. Um, it would not be fair to say that this is all Scorpio's energy on a Sagittarius reading, if that makes sense. So... Definitely go and check that out. Wow. Oh, my stomach's talking, guys. <laughs> right. I'm so hungry now. Okay, let's see. You guys are like my second reading this morning, so I haven't had breakfast. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. That's how committed I am to getting the readings out to you guys. <laughs> right, Five Pentacles. Your fear is... Being rejected on a spiritual level, right? Being happy and content in your own life, but at the same time not wanting to be single. Like, not wanting to be left out alone, you know? Not wanting to be alone. Not wanting to be spiritually drained. That's interesting. Like, you want a relationship, but you don't want, like... It's almost like saying, hey, do we have to go into a commitment in order to to have a, a relationship without losing the spark, right? So to you need to realize that not everybody's going to have it like that. And some people obviously are going through their own journey. And sometimes when it comes to their own journey, depending on who you're dealing with, um, like I said, like everybody's going through their own journey. So it may be that, you know, they have come to the realization that actually what they really wanted was not what they want anymore. And what they want now is something that they may not want even in the next few months time. Right. And that's the same with you. Look how far you guys have come. So it may be something like what I wanted is not what I want anymore. I want something different. Right. So you may not want commitment anymore. Other people might want commitment now, right? Tell me about the Five of Swords. We're ever evolving. Ever evolving. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Three of Pentacles. You're trying to work on something, right? You're trying to come together, collaborate, and work with this person. You've got Three of Pentacles twice now. Right. But it's turning into a conflict every single time, right? It's almost like saying, why do I have to keep putting in the effort? Why can you not do something? Or you want perhaps somebody to work with you. Alongside with you. But it just turns into a conflict, a challenge. You might be working on something as well, like putting your head down, focusing on projects now, studying. But again, very conflicted energy. Let's see what's going on. What advice do we have from a Scorpio? Um, Sagittarius says, why? Why? Like, Scorpio's energy was exactly the same. What advice do we have for Sagittarius? Please send me Rising Venus. What advice do we have, please, for Sagittarius? Send me Rising Venus. Nope. I was like, no, you are not going to be flying everywhere again. Okay, what advice do we have, please, Spirit Angel Guides? Ace of Cups again. So there's definitely new love coming in. The 
there is completion coming in definitely so that's good news i feel like you need to work on yourself and heal your spirituality that's the first thing that i'm getting from this you need to work on yourself and spiritually be great regain your health right breathe take a breath okay take a deep breath meditate contemplate heal rest okay because self-love right now is really important than any other kind of relationship that you may may feel like you know whether you feel like getting into it or not right now i really do feel that um self-love is really really important love yourself so much to the extent that you don't need somebody else right because I see you have everything there that you need, right? You have all your stars aligned. You have uh, the structure, the stability, okay? You have uh, a completion going on here in the home front, okay, when it comes to finances too. So even though you may have felt like you've lost out on finances, but there's a big gain coming in, okay? Things are going to start to look better, right? Work, work, work work really hard, learn new skills, um, definitely focus on yourself, more, most importantly here. I mean, I don't actually see new love coming in per se. I actually feel like this is, um, this is you needing to work on yourself and your own stability. That's what I feel like this is. So do that. It's a must. All right, Sagittarius, says, I'm going to go and eat now, okay? So I'm going to leave you guys to like, share, and subscribe, okay, to this video. And don't forget to go and check out the great products on my online store, okay? And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.